What's going on guys, Coach Joe. In this video, we're gonna be going over my new deadlift warm-up protocol I'm gonna be trying. So let's get warming into it. What's up guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den. Like I said in the intro, we're gonna be covering my new warm-up protocol for deadlifts. And the reason I'm switching it up a little bit besides just warming up with the deadlift is because I'm experiencing some hip pain uh, that I just wanna to try to resolve. So just honestly trying something new. I've watched some other YouTubers and lifters, uh, kinda of just got some ideas from their channels and put together what has worked best for me. But starting it right off the bat, guys, this is the first thing I've been incorporating. It's just. Uh, some light cardio. My heart rate doesn't really go above 110 uh, beats per minute. And I kind of am just trying to get blood flow to the body. This also allows me to kind of just get my mindset in check. Let's me focus, get some endorphins going and attack this session that I have planned out ahead of me. Now, I really don't do this often, uh, but I do have a foam roller in my hands. And this is just another way to just kind of get in the zone, just like using the elliptical. Some people may want to use a foam roller. So for today, I actually did try it and just kind of piggybacking off of the elliptical, just getting me focused, getting some blood flow, warming up the body a little bit. Uh, I don't think this is the end all be all. I'm not a huge fan of these, but you know, if you guys want to do it, it feels good, more power to you. Go ahead, do some rolling. So next on tap, I did these plank variations, which I actually got from Bryce Krawcheck at Calgary Barbell. I have actually done these in the past, but it's been a while. And when I watched this video, this is something he incorporated. And I'll actually link that video right up here. Uh, but basically I started off doing uh, a plank with one arm and one leg extended. And I held that for about 15 to 20 seconds per side for two to three sets. After I completed that, I would take my elbow and connect my elbow to my knee for about eight to 10 reps per side for two to three sets. I really like these just for overall kinesthetic awareness. And also it did help warm up my hip, uh, which just felt nice, which will transfer over to my deadlift. And we'll talk about that a little bit later. From there, just to warm up my hips a good bit, I used the slingshot hip circle and I did about two to three sets of 12 to 15 side steps each way, uh, which just felt good. Once again, kind of loosening up my hip, uh, which has been the primary issue. Uh, but throw in some of those if your hips are bothering you or if you're just trying to get some blood flow to the lower body, really help with the hips, uh, the abductors and uh, the glutes as well. Lastly, before getting into some barbell uh, specific work, I am using the reverse hyper. So for the reverse hyper, just really good to kind of take some pressure off that lower back and also warm up uh, the entire lower body. So I did uh, three sets of 15 reps here, just enough to get some blood flow to the lower body uh, and overall warm myself up. So lastly, finally, I grab the barbell and basically what I do is just some pause uh, Romanian deadlifts, just kind of keeping some tension throughout my entire body. Also more kinesthetic awareness, priming the system for what's about to happen. And I'll do that for a couple sets, uh, you know, anywhere from five to six pause reps. And then I'll just start doing some RDLs for sets of 10 to 15 reps, two or three sets, and then keep continuing on with my normal warm up that you guys have probably seen before. Uh, so just using the barbell, loading on some weight and getting right to the deadlifts. Overall, honestly, it felt a lot better to get in uh, the, you know, 10, 15 minutes uh, warm up work. Now I know it's not ideal for a lot of people who are in a time crunch, uh, but for me, obviously I have a good amount of time and, and training is a main priority for my day. So I'm allowing myself some extra time to do that. And performance is honestly, you know, what drives my business and my life. So for me, it makes sense to add in that extra time. Uh, but the main purpose of this is to warm yourself up, have a nice sweat going. My heart rate range anywhere from 110 to about 130, depending on what I was doing, just to give you guys a little bit of a reference there. Uh, but the whole time I was moving consistently, okay? I wasn't taking too much time to just sit there and I really wasn't stretching per se. Um, I was warming up. So give this a shot, see if it works for you. This was mainly prescribed for me, uh, just for some hip issues that I've been working through. Um, but I can say, you know, whatever I did, did help a little bit, um, you know, make me feel better when I started deadlifting. But you know, it's very nuanced and there's tons of reasons why my hip could be hurting me. So I'm just trying some different things out. But if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and stay a lean, mean strength machine. Peace.